Could there be a formula for success? This is a question that everyone asks and this is a question for which everyone wants to know the answer. Although I can't say for sure whether there is a formula for success or not in general, but I can say that in PT there is a formula and if you follow that formula, no matter where you start from, you'll be successful. And today I'm going to share that formula with you. If you're interested, keep watching. Let's get straight to the point. What is the formula for becoming successful in PT? In PT, if you want to be successful, you have to follow four P's. And these four P's are positive mindset, proper guidance, planning and preparation, and perseverance. Let me explain each one of them one by one, and I will also tell you how you can apply these principles specifically in the context of PT. The first one, as I said, is positive mindset. It's extremely important that you stay positive throughout your journey because it's not going to be that easy for some of us. And it's really important that we are surrounded by positive people, we have positive thoughts in our mind, and we have a positive mindset. Now, why positive mindset is important? Because if you are doing something difficult, you are bound to face difficulties and problems, and you are also bound to face certain negative thoughts. Unless you are positive about what you want to do, nobody can help you. I say, be your God. Do not listen to anyone. No one can tell you what you can do or cannot do better than you can. And that's why listen to yourself. If you think you can, you can and you will do it. I've seen people's score changing from 30 to 90. If they can do it, you can also do it. So do not listen to other people telling you what is not possible and why you should be looking for the alternatives. If you see your destination, there is no reason why you should listen to anyone else. At the same time, sometimes you'll also come across people who will tell you that they only prepared for one or two days and they got their score. Don't be misled by these claims. Maybe these people only prepared for one or two days, but that was the policing part. Maybe they prepared English for a long time before they appeared in the test. And that's why there is no reason for you to believe that success can be achieved overnight. Success is just like an iceberg, a lot of hard work below the water and just the tip of performance above the water. So if you just look at that performance, you might feel like that was an easy achievement for that person, but you may not see the base of the iceberg. Anyway, positive mindset is extremely important. For those of you who are interested in learning more about mindset, go through the book by Carol Dweck, Mindset. It's an extremely good book which will motivate you to stay in path and get your score. The second important thing is proper guidance. Now, no matter who you are, at one stage in your life, no matter what you are doing, you'll need guidance from others. And you should always seek guidance whenever you are preparing for something. There is no point wasting your time and energy on something that others have already done or experimenting with the ideas that others have already explored and discovered and analyzed. And that's why listen to people who have already been through this journey. They can be your teachers, they can be your friends who caught this course, they can be someone sharing their experience in videos, they can be a tutor teaching you on YouTube. They can be anyone. Just listen to these people. Try to accumulate as much advice as you can. But make sure that you filter them as well because a lot of the times you'll also get a lot of junk advice as well and it's really important that you have a filtering mechanism to get only the things you need and that's one skill that you really need to develop the third important thing is preparation and planning now planning and preparation is extremely important before you start your preparation first find out about all the question types in your exam then categorize them into four categories the first category will be easy and important questions they are the gems they are the ones that you have to focus on the second category will be difficult and important questions these questions can be make or break factor for your success then the third group will be easy and not so important questions these are like your bonuses and you must go through them as well just to increase your score by a few points and at the end you will have difficult and not so important questions they are like your barriers always avoid them or circumvent them walk around them now the last point is perseverance whenever you are preparing for anything there is always a chance of failure as well and do not be overly concerned about failure don't think too much about it You'll only try to avoid it rather than think about the strategies that can use to overcome the failure. If you fail, you have to have the courage to get up and start walking again. I think there is not even a single person who has never faced failure in his life. And uh, no matter who you ask, everyone will tell you that failure teaches you more than success can. Because failure teaches you two things at the same time. It teaches you what does not work so that you avoid it in future. At the same time, it also teaches you what can work or at least forces you to think about the solutions. That's why don't be afraid of failures. Everyone has to go through that. And this quality of walking despite failure is what we call perseverance.
If you have these four P's, positive mindset, proper guidance, planning and preparation, and perseverance, no one can stop you from reaching your destination. I've been trying to help students for the last 14 years and in Australia for the last six years. During this time, I have come across different types of students, but no matter who I came across, and then when they became successful, these were the four qualities I found in them, or at least these were the four qualities they had developed. So I highly recommend that you work on these areas and make sure that you have these qualities yourself. If you need any help in any of the things that I discussed in this video, or for that matter, for anything that I can help you with, please let me know in the comments or send me emails or get in touch with me. I will help you in any way I can. At the same time, if you think that um, this video was helpful and you want to watch similar videos in the future as well, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And if you're doing this on our Facebook page, please follow our page so that you do not miss these types of suggestions in future and many other important tutorials related to PT. I wish you good luck for your exam and I'll see you soon with the next video. Have a good time.